world's best stand-up combat kickboxing organization returns to Paris for a great show coming up tomorrow night. And what a card. If you were watching our press conference earlier, you know that France is well represented here. And it really feels like France taking on the world. We've got some great fights on this card. For Glory 91 coming up at the Dome de Paris. And it's time to make sure all of our fighters have made weight and we'll uh, get on the scales here to be ready for the action tomorrow night. I'm going to step aside for just a minute and introduce our beautiful Glory Girls. Please welcome Gemma and Anna here with us today. Also with us from our talent operations, I want to uh, welcome Jim Tessier to the stage with me and Robbie Timmers from our talent here to oversee. Uh, thank you also to Vaughn for being here to oversee our weigh-ins, which they do always. And Gino Engelhardt is here with us from Vaughn. Let's waste no time in getting right to it. Coming up uh, here with our introduction of fighters. And we begin the evening with three preliminary bouts. Starting off in the middleweight division, it will be Randy DeGear taking on Florian Kruger. DeGear will get onto the scales first. And right off the bat, a French fighter in front of his hometown fans here in Paris. He'll be making his glory debut with a professional record of five wins, one loss, one bounce scored even, one career knockout in his young career. He is a 2023 French national champion and also a two-time European silver medalist. Anxious to get inside the glory ring tomorrow night. Eighty-four point nine four to gear. Now Florian Kruger. He's actually going to step through the glory ropes for the fourth time in his career. It brings with him a professional record of nineteen wins with ten losses. Six of those wins by knockout. He made his debut at Dusseldorf back at uh, Glory eighty-one. Himself a two thousand nineteen European champion and has fought all over the world from Germany to Africa. 84.8 for Kruger. This one's scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Tomorrow night, this is the way the night gets started. One of 11 bouts on the glory card tomorrow night here in Paris. reminder while we have a second that there are still tickets available. It is the welterweights. Manny Ait El Hodge taking on Ismail Uzni. Ait El Hodge is here from Lille, France. The talent. 31 wins, 4 losses, 2 draws, and 8 of those wins by knockout. He too will make his glory debut tomorrow night. A European champion with multiple French titles. 77 kilos even for Aydel Hodge. Now, Uzni, fighting out of Morocco, comes in ranked number five in the Glory World rankings. A young professional career, four wins, one loss, one knockout on his record. This will be his third Glory appearance. His brother, also a Glory veteran, Goes by the nickname The Wave. Coming off a unanimous decision over Roman Church at uh, Collision 6 in Arnhem just a few months ago. 76.7 for Uzni. Those of you in the Netherlands, of course, uh, watched him fight on Team Botter in House of Glory series on Video Land. His talents well respected. I am now high in Ismail Usti. Take on Roman Church. Kamara again will have the benefit of having his hometown fans cheering him on. And Dom de Paris tomorrow night, fighting out of Paris, 24 wins, 
Five losses, one draw, 10 of those wins by knockout. 76.6 for Kamara. He had an impressive second round TKO in his debut at Collision 5 last June. Now his opponent here tonight, fighting out of the Netherlands, Robin Scherich. Been in the ropes, inside the glory ropes, seven prior times. This will be his eighth glory start, 21 and seven. The king of the ring. Actually trained with his dad, who himself is a Taekwondo legend. Also 76.6. Made his debut in the Glory Rivals series and took his first win over Jos Van Belsen back at uh, Glory 83. He fought his way to the House of Glory finals. Three three-minute rounds in the welterweight division of Glory coming up from our left. Now, the main you watching in the United States, make sure you download the Bally Live app and catch all of the action coming up tomorrow. Next up, it is the featherweights. Bobo Sacco taking on David Mejia. Sacco stepping onto the scales first from Le Miser Seine, France. Look at this record, 75 wins with 6 losses, 1 draw, and 29 career knockouts. Goes by the nickname The Panther and he arrives on a 3-fight winning streak. 64.8 for Sacco. Now his opponent, David Mejia, fighting out of Spain by way of Brixton, the United Kingdom. This will be his second glory start. Lost a tough split decision last fall of Bulgaria championship match. Very close fight. The Hurricane came in ranked number one when he arrived in glory. A super featherweight ranked by Combat Express, uh, uh, Press last year. 65 even for Mejia. Lots of chatter here in France about Bobo Sacco stepping into the glory ring for the first time. And David Mejia. Mejia, by the way, a 2022 British Grand Prix champion and a 2012 Spanish here to take on Sufian Abdahalak. Let's get Abdahalak onto the scales first out of Morocco. He takes his fight on short notice. He was scheduled actually to be on the uh, Collision 6 card with us, injured in a car accident and had to uh, step off of that card Anxious to uh, be here in Paris with the uh, young professional record, three wins, two losses, one draw, the Hitman. 77 even for Abdelhalak. Now, fighting out of Paris, France, much anticipated, Cyril Benzikin. Another impressive veteran record of 57 wins with 12 losses, three draws, and eight career knockouts. This will be his first fight, by the way, at welterweight, dropping down from the middleweight ranks. 77 even for Benzikin, a seven-time Oriental Rules kickboxing world champion and a WKF European and world champion who feels like he's getting a new start by stepping onto the glory stage tomorrow night. On the line, not just a win tomorrow night in Paris, but also, we'll get one slot in the light heavyweight Grand Prix that's coming up in June and uh, will be happening in the Netherlands. It is Pascal Torre taking on Moami. Let's get the Frenchman onto the scales first. Torre, fighting out of Lyon, France, brings with him a professional record of 19 wins and six losses, seven of those wins by knockout. Nacri made his debut at Glory 88 in September. 94.6 for Torre, a French national champion who actually started boxing young at age 18. Now, his opponent, Mo Ami, finds himself in the Glory Top 5 of the world rankings. Fighting out of Morocco, 29 wins with 6 losses, 16 of those wins by knockout. 
actually moved to heavyweight to compete in the four-man heavyweight tournament of Glory 87. 94.7 for Amin, who made his debut back in 2017 at Glory 45 in Amsterdam. And again, the winner moves on with an opportunity of a lifetime to fight in the Grand Prix Tournament that's coming up in June. Yes, thank you. Heavyweights to the heavyweights. It's Vladimir Tok taking on Sophie and Laiduni. Tok onto the scales first. A veteran of almost 70 fights. 51 and 19, the career record, with 28 career knockouts. Made his debut at Collision 5 last July versus Nabil Kahak. 113.8 for Tok. Now, Sophie and Laiduni, fighting out of France, brings with him 35 wins with three losses. 17 of those wins coming by knockout. He competed earlier this year in the Heavyweight Grand Prix. And as a French national and European champion, took a unanimous decision over Benjamin Adekbouy at Glory 86. 107.6 for Laiduni. Laiduni known for his quick hands for a big man in particular. But very much looking forward to fighting here in France in Paris tomorrow night. Catchwell taking on Yusef Bouganem. Kazatsev to the scales first. Fighting out of Odessa, Ukraine. 25 wins, 8 losses, 7 of those wins coming by knockout. Stas will make his glory debut tomorrow night. 71.7 for Kazatsev. Now his opponent, Yusef Bouganem. Look at this record, 167 wins, 43 losses, 8 bouts scored even with 119 career knockouts. 72 even for Boganev. Goes by the nickname The Terminator, a Lumpini Stadium WBC Muay Thai World Champion. And a World Muay Thai Council, WKN, ISKF, IBF, and Waco champion. Many titles to his career. And he sees this first opportunity in glory to start the uh, process to win a glory belt. Thank you. This one should be good tomorrow night. Kazatsev and Abubinen. Again to the light heavyweights. It is Kevin Umar taking on Baram Rajabzadeh. Omar will be fighting here in front of his hometown fans in Paris. He is a mixed martial artist with a career record of 33 wins and 4 losses, 7 of those wins by knockout. This will be a glory debut tomorrow night, but a two-time French national champion and a five-time French Sanda champion. 94.2 for Omar. Now, Baram Rajab Zadeh here from Baku, Azerbaijan. The number two ranked light heavyweight in the world with an impressive career record of 66 wins and just two losses. 58 of those coming by way of knockout. 94.7 for the Golden Wolf. He was voted, by the way, the breakout fighter of the year in glory hey! back in 2023. Hey! And won a four-man Grand Prix qualifying tournament. Recently competed, of course, in the heavyweight Grand Prix. <laughs> then out for the welterweight championship of the world, Chico Quasi, here to take on Andy Sennelier. They have a combined 19 fight winning streak between them. Both have been on a tear and a collision course. Here's Quasi, 42 wins, five losses, 22 career knockouts, undefeated 
in three prior glory appearances. 76.7 for the challenger. Now, his opponent, Andy Sevalier, fighting out of Curacao, the reigning welterweight champion of the world. 36 wins with just one loss. He, too, is undefeated in five prior glory appearances. Now on a 10-fight winning streak of his own, Bad News Andy will make his fourth defense of the belt. 76.8. For Andy Sevalier. This one five rounds for the welterweight championship of the world. Yeah. Fireworks coming up tomorrow night here in Paris, France. It is Glory 91 at the Dome de Paris. Again, if you're in the Paris area, tickets are still...